Hi, it's Neil Walters of NeilsVideos.com, and in this video, I thought we would try to make some cheese real quick. This is my practice town on the new Godot system that I started last night, and the competition, kind of like I call it the fake competition. It's the competition that isn't really a competition begins today. So I'm still practicing on this uh, practice server right now, and I thought one thing I should try to do is to make some cheese. Also, was playing with my seaweed farms and my uh, shrimp farm down here. So I, I'm just letting those things build while we're talking about other things. This is a chart that I think I did another video on. If I didn't, I'll do a whole video just on this. This is what it takes to make shrimp pizza, which is going to be the meta build for this week. Again, different weeks of competitions have different meta, and they give extra points for certain items. This week, the thing you need to do to get the most points is to make shrimp pizza. To do that, you need the shrimp and you need a pizza base. And to do pizza base, you need cheese. So in previous videos, I talked about how to make butter and how to make dough. And those were you know very beginner level videos. This is still kind of beginner level. Uh, th this game, I'm, I've got my NFTs in my town, but that doesn't affect really how we make the cheese. So what my purpose is in this video is to show you how to build these buildings and, and all the stuff you need to make to make the cheese and just to make sure everything's working. So we're going to have to have some husk rice crops. We're going to have to put a mixing tent and turn those into white rice. I think I already have sugar cane. When I build my sauce facility, I want to make sure I build it near a passive pond. And I already got cows. So that should be what I need to do to make cheese. I'll need a cup, two mixing tents at least, and one sauce facility. But I think I should start at the bottom and work my way up. If that's not kind of obvious. So I'm going to make husk rice, and then I'll build a mixing tent for white rice. Okay, so the husk rice I'm going to put down here by my river on the bottom. These are your borders this week. So uh, husk. H. It's going to be R for rice or H for husk. Don't tell me they don't have it in the game yet. Okay, I don't see it here. They said they might have moved some things to the seafood section. There, rice field. It doesn't say husk, but anyway, that's going to create rice fields, going to create husk rice. So it seems like rice, I don't know, sometimes the way, the way they distribute these products across these tabs is kind of weird. But anyway, rice husk is going to be here on the seafood tab. So we're going to stick that down here. Let's see what it needs to build. It just, oh gosh, it needs six out of 10 water. So I might need some more water wells. This the shrimp guy takes uh, 20 water. We finally got that. Also takes 10 seaweeds, and I built my seaweed farms. They're all waiting on brine, which is why I built another salt field. So that little husk rice guy is going to take a while. So we might as well go ahead and build our mixing tent. Put him down here. That's why I let my money save up overnight. So. I have $8 million to spend, so I should be able to build the things that are required. I'm already to the point in the game where adding these buildings is going to mess up some of my windmills, right? But that is just the way it works. I, right now, I'm not, I could put some more planning and rearrange my town maybe to, to pack things in better, but right now, I'm just going to kind of do it in a hurry to get it done. So there's your mixing tent. It needs five oak, five wood, five energy. Okay, so now I don't have oak yet. So I do have an NFT called a uh, oak storage. If you don't have that, your oak wood is going to go like in a lumber yard probably or a woodshed. So I'm going to put my NFT, which you go to the blue thing here. And I'm looking for my oak. And see, this is a good reason to practice. Um, next game, I might start making my oak earlier. So I will have it ready when I get ready to do my uh, cheese. So here's the big oak stand. This is how NFTs work. You place and you put it, I think, anywhere there's a road. I don't know. It just kind of makes sense to me to have it 
over here by my other wood wood items. These are my other wood related. This is a, a, a huge wood storage at old 60 wood. Now I need to plant an oak tree. Well, probably two. Get it rolling. Uh, I forget right now how much water they need. Now, see, we're already going to end up with shade problems down here. Even though I have a river, which gives me almost all the water I need, these cows and barns and windmills and stuff are going to cast shade on it. So let's try right here. I'm going to go to the regular farm and look for oak tree. Now, in the new games, you have to line things up. You can actually sometimes place them off key or off square. But I'm right now, I'm keeping everything on the square just to be safe until I have time to play with that new feature more. Okay, so it's already growing. That's good. Uh, again, the green timers are lying right now. That might that's that might be a yellow timer. It's hard to tell. I think if it was green, it would be one minute, but I, I don't quite remember. And let's oh. Sometimes you can repeat. Sometimes this, this little icon will appear down here where you can do the same thing twice, but then sometimes it disappears. A thousand bucks for the oak. Some more trees now that I have all this money. And I think the tent said it needed, didn't say lumber? Oh, just wood, wood and oak wood. So I don't know if I have any lumber right now. Let's check here. Okay. I do not have my auto sell on wood. So what I'm going to do is just flush this uh, item here. Click flush and get rid of all that regular wood out of there. I have plenty of wood over here. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and make some lumber anyway because I might want to make uh, some lumberjacks or something. I mean, logger houses or farm tractors or something like that. I'm turning on my lumber. Okay. So now this little tent, we should start to see some of these items becoming available. Yeah, we got our five energy. We got our five wood. So we're waiting on the oak, and that's going to take quite a while. So I'll probably. Uh, pause the video and let that those oak trees happen because it's going to take three minutes for each one and they have to deliver them over here and then they're going to have to deliver them over here. So let's go ahead and add another uh, mixing tent. So we'll go back to the seafood mixing tent here. There. That's going to eventually do the cheese. And now I need a rice vinegar. I need a sauce facility. And let's get that going. Sauce facility. So we're going to go here and go to the seafood. It's going to take 10 lumber, which is another reason I turned on my lumber, I guess. 10 wood and 10 batteries, 700 bucks a minute. So, sauce facility. One way, by the way, before I, I build these things in the real game, what I would probably do is upgrade my building. So I would turn my farmers into farm tractors, and then I could get rid of about half of them, right? So if I have, for example, eight farmhouses, I could probably do the same amount of work with four farm tractors. If I have, same thing, say six or, say if I have 10 logger, I mean, uh, 10 lumberjack houses, I could probably do the same work with five logger houses. So by, by upgrading all these houses, which takes a long time, it's a slow process, uh, then I could have more room for these buildings and I could put them where, you know, in a safer place where they wouldn't be affecting, affecting these windmills here. Let's check on my rice guy down here. How's he doing? Seven out of eight water. 
before you build him, you want to probably make sure you have several water wells, like I have two right now. And uh, you know, they're both empty at the moment, but it takes about 30 seconds for him to create another water. So that guy, okay, now he's starting. So it's in, I think, the... Uh, he's actually crafting right now. It's going to take... Um, I don't know how long. It probably is a minute and a half to make the first rice. So we're probably going to need two of these. I just want to see, make sure that one got done. And now we're going to go up here and add a second rice. I'm not concerned right now with the shade and all that stuff. Again, I, I need to start stop and analyze the shading a little bit better. And I hope they get the green timers where they, they show the right color here. That's kind of driving me crazy. You can see that since I turned on my lumber yard, I've already got four lumber. I do have an NFT that I think speeds up my lumber mill. So we have four lumber there. We still have 23 wood. So I might want to be careful and shut off my lumber mill after... When I get down to, say, maybe 10 wood or something like that. And I'll be pausing the video because there's really not much to see right now. By the way, I rotated my town backwards here. And I'm adding a couple of more um, uh, builder houses, constructor houses. I put one over here in the corner. And the reason it looks different over there is I use these things called skins, Miranda skins, which is kind of made, to me, it's a very strange concept. Where they're basically changing the way the buildings look to look like the Miranda's game, which is a totally different game. So I guess somebody thought that was cool. <clears throat> I know there's other games people pay big dollars to have these things called skins. But in this game, I, I wanted the skins because they give you a speed boost. So if you have like all 10 skins applied to your town, all your little characters move just a little bit faster. Now I've got more builders going, and that's going to help speed up my building here a little bit. The way you spin your town is you hold down your right mouse button, and then you kind of turn your wrist. And it would normally be a lot faster than what it is here, because I'm using still this thing called remote desktop. I'm actually playing on another computer. It's super fast if you do it directly on that computer. I go through this remote desktop, everything slows down, but that's what enables me to make these videos a little bit more cleanly. So we got one of our mixing tents done. Yay. So we're going to make it do the white rice. Oh, no, that's the, sorry, that's not the mixing tent. That's the sauce facility. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn it on, even though we may not have the products there yet. So... Craft, and we're going to, later we'll make tomato paste in a maybe future video. Uh, we need the white rice, two water, and sugar. So remember I said we really want this to be passive, so we want a pond next to it. So I'm going to go ahead and build a pond. This tab, which is the uh, terrain tab, or the, what they call it. We're going to put the pond right here. Well, <clears throat> we're probably still waiting on the oak woods. This one has three out of five oak. And this one has zero oak. So at least he's giving priority, I guess, to the oak wood to finish the first one first, which is a good thing. Probably going to go ahead and build another oak tree off the video. Hmm. Sorry, I'm eating while I'm making the video today. Um, this oak tree here needs water, though. So, you need five water, just like regular tree farms do. So, if you put it one square away from your river down here, you'll have to carry the water from one of your water wells, or you need to put it next to a pond, or you need a water tower like this. So, I do have another water tower. Let me uh, add that. So, like right here, let's say move that meadow. Go here, and I'm going to find one of my water towers. This is my big water tower. It gives me a grid of five water, and then I have three of these water towers, which give me a grid of four, starting with four. 
Oh, all plays. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm using, okay, one here, one here, and one here. So I don't have any water towers left. Um, I have a feeling this one doesn't need to be here. So I'm going to do some rearranging. So I'm going to hit return. I'm going to return that one. I'm going to switch and put the big one right here. And I'm just kind of guessing that's going to cover those crops. Uh, I'll go count, count them later. You, you always have to count things in this game, like count the, the grids and the squares to make sure everything's getting what it needs. To be honest, that can get some, kind of boring sometimes if that's, it's critical in this game. So like here, this gives me like five, four, three, two, one. So now, Peppermint's going to get one water from him, and then it's going to get actually zero from that pond. So what I might need to do here is just remove that rock and also put a pond there. But first, I'm going to let this pond get built. And I think for now, we need probably another couple of uh, water wells just to speed up all these ponds and stuff. Well, again, is here on this page, the farmer page. And we'll stick it somewhat close down here to the water, and that should make it fill up faster. You don't want to put it next to pollution, it would be slow. Okay, so our sauce facility is waiting on white rice, and now we have one of our mixing tents. Oh, there's our water. Now you can see it automatically got two water passively. Now we go to this mixing camp and we do craft and we're going to make white rice out of uh, husk rice or brown rice, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and it needs energy. Ah. So right now it's going to have to carry a battery or an energy unit from this warehouse or this warehouse. So in the future, think about that. You might want to put your mixing tents like over here by one of your power plants which means I'd have to move these two houses here. So it's always a matter of, you know, you can't move a house. You have to delete the house and then rebuild it somewhere else. So this is where your planning comes in. And that's also why you do practice games, like what I'm doing now. So, you know, I've even kind of refreshed my mind <clears throat> on a couple of things, like that that requires energy. So when I do the real game later today, I might consider that and do things a little bit different. Okay, it's been a few minutes, just to update you. The mixing tent here it has two husk rice in it. It's waiting on one energy. So it should be getting that pretty quick, I would think. I've seen some things kind of just lock up since we have the new Godot. Um, like where is that worker and why isn't he getting energy right now? I think we have an issue here. Because <clears throat> I have energy in this warehouse. 47 of them. I have energy down here. Whatever, a bunch of 60. So if you see something weird like that, my suggestion is you refresh your town, refresh your browser. This is what the new load screen looks like. These silly messages here. The size of the town. <clears throat> energy. <clears throat> that is very disappointing. Especially when I'm trying to make the teaching video for you and then you have bugs like
Vaya, oh. No way option. There's no way I can force it to bring in energy. <clears throat> the only other thing I know to do is make it work its passive energy. So sometimes if you have to do a get by, like I was saying before, I don't even know. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm missing a worker. No, somebody carried the, the husk in there. I think he has his own worker. I wonder if I'm missing a worker. Let me just double check. So there is a Townstar testers group. There's also a Townstar bug report. I think since Godot, they wanted us to put the bugs in testers. And look at this, just a few minutes before me today, someone else had the exact same issue. So I just said, V2, I'm whatever. So um, it is a bug, unfortunately. <clears throat> so to get around that, what I'm doing is I'm rebuilding my mixing tent over here. Uh, if you don't have another $550,000, that's not going to be very nice. But if you have the money, it's not a big deal. Now I'm waiting on wood, which remember a while ago I said I need to turn off my lumber mill. I forgot to do that because I was making videos and talking, right? So I need to start the craft, stop, because now my wood is down to zero. As soon as I get five wood, that shouldn't take very long. I should have that mixing tent done. And then, of course, over here in my silo now, I have uh, the husk rice. That's not the right building. I clicked on the wrong one. Big storehouse. Not this one. There are nine husk rice. So I put an auto sell on that, too. So if I think I, I, think I said auto sell when it gets to 12 or 13 or something like that. But I don't want these two silos to fill up. And also, it might be time to build a third silo now because you can see I have, like, four products. I have brine, husk rice sugar cane, that's three products. But anyway, if you have three products, that means you can only have like 13 each if you have a combination of 40 total. So pretty soon I'll probably build another silo over here. Meanwhile, you can see my oak is moving very, very slowly. I have four oaks here. And I also built the aquaculture <clears throat> house here to start gathering in. I think it's my seaweed. I just want to verify for sure that's the guy I need for my seaweed. You know, it's clearly I was wrong on that. I need a seaweed farmer, not a, not a, I think the aquaculturist will do the shrimp, but I think I need the seaweed farmer to gather the seaweed. So I'm going to have to build one of him too. And running out of space. Without planning, I'm just going to stick it here. He's going to need five oak as well. So all these things are waiting on oak, which is taking forever. That's my wood over here. I'm a little behind on wood. I probably, I bet all my windmills right now are begging for wood. So I need to just pause the video for another few minutes. Okay, I'm back after a little uh, short hiatus there. Um, basically, I had a huge wood shortage in my town. So right now, I'm back to normal. I have 59 wood, which is really good, actually. So I may have overcompensated. But what I did was I actually got rid of all my milk barns down here because they were slowing down all my trees. And so nothing was being built. I, when I put this little tent over here, it was waiting on the five wood, I think. And... Uh, I don't know, I may still have a brine problem. My shrimp, I think, were waiting on brine. Anyway, everything was waiting on everything. And it was all because of the wood. The wood, I just wasn't making enough wood. And so all the wood seemed to be going to the windmills. And therefore, I, I didn't have any wood to build new things. So I built some more tree farms. I cleared out some more of the old tree stumps. I did add some water wells because, again, I, my water's not tuned. I'm just kind of slamming a lot of stuff together just to test things in this, this particular practice game. And I built more trees down here, but all the trees were slow. And then now, again, the timers throw me off because the timers were green, even though they were, they should have been red. And that just twists my mind a little bit. You know, I knew they probably weren't growing as fast as they should have been, but it, it was really bad. So now I, I, I built also about six more, maybe six or seven more lumberjacks. And now I got plenty of wood so I can turn back my lumber back on if I want. 
let's review. Over here, remember I built this extra mixing tent and it's getting power from across the street. So right now it's waiting on husk rice. And I hope to goodness it's going to grab those if I have any. Yeah, there's husk rice in there. Let's give it a minute and see if it's done any. And then let's check, uh, let's check our inventory storage house here. Here. Okay, so something's working. So we have two white rice in here and we have three cheese. So actually we have made cheese now. And let me review what how that happened. So this is our sauce facility and it's mixing rice vinegar. So just to recap, rice vinegar was one white rice and two, uh, well, the water began passively. So I just built a pond next to it and it's eating sugar cane as well. And then this mixing tent was making cheese, and that was taking two milk and one rice vinegar from here. You notice right now we do not have any rice vinegar in the storage, but uh, we are getting the rice vinegar and it's just kind of basically goes to the storage for probably just a few seconds and bounces back and then comes over here. This little tent is basically dead to me because it's waiting on energy. Just for fun, I wonder if I stop it and restart it. Did a craft stop. Now let's do craft. You know, a while ago, I actually rebooted the whole game, and that didn't get it going. Now there's the worker. Okay. Let's just actually watch him. I know this is related to bugging. You probably don't care. So there he brought one husk rice. This is the way you can also analyze the game. Again, when you click on that building, it'll put that little red. I'm sorry, it's hidden. That's a problem. Oh, there, that, that little pop-up balloon will disappear after a few seconds. So now you know which worker is tied to that building. And see, he now should be going out and getting energy, but he just went in the building and he stays there. Because now you don't see him running around anywhere, right? So he is just like refusing to pick up energy. Worthless little guy. So let's do craft stop, and we might as well make this into cheese or something. Something else, or I could just delete the building. So let's make a cheese out of it. I probably, to do that, I probably need another rice vinegar factory. So here, since I think I overbuilt lumberjack houses now, I think I could put another rice vinegar, uh, or what's it called? Uh, sauce facility. A sauce facility. Right there. And stick that there. I'll need some lumber for that. So once again, now that I have too much wood, look what happens over here. Again, this is for beginner stuff, right? So this is full of 17 wood. I, even though it has three lumber in there, I'm just going to flush it because I think that'll be faster in the long run. Since it's full of wood, uh, I want this guy to have place to put the new lumber he's about to create. And he'll, he'll rebuild those three lumber pretty doggone fast. Now, this seems to be a bug, too. You, you, you should only see the little red balloon around one character and when because you, you should only have one building highlighted, right? So uh, sometimes you do see more than one character with the balloons turned on. I think that's a bug. So here you need to see he should be making that lumber pretty quick. Back over here. He got one of his husk rice. He probably, yeah, he probably made one right rice. Now he's making another one. So that's working smoothly. Always check your gas. I got 39 gas, which is good. I can also set up, since I have so much gas, what I can also do is, is set up auto sell on my wood, which I usually do if, as long as I have plenty of gas. So over here on my wood, uh, that large building will hold 60. So if I get more than, say, four, no, sell at, when I get, say, oh, 60, when I, once I get 60, I want to sell 10 of them. I think that will work. I'm not going to try to sell all 60. I don't know how they're handling the big boat. There's a big boat that they'll, they'll handle a hundred items. I don't know if they've got that properly programmed yet for auto sell. Maybe still be manual. Okay. 
Well, remember our main goal of this video was to make cheese. Oh, I want to show you how much cheese sells for. I haven't even actually checked yet. So you can turn to the Townstar guide, the, the spreadsheet I've been showing you, or we can go just here and click sell on the trade depot. Go we'll look for your cheese down here. We don't have 10 of them yet, but we can check the price. Oh, great. No trade destinations available. It says you don't have enough to trade, but it should still tell you how much the cheese sells for. So since that's not telling me, I will go look it up in the playbook, play guide. Just a second. I'm in the Townstar playbook from Dubstep Rod spreadsheet. You can go to, if you don't have a link, I'll try to remember to put it on some of my videos at least, or you go to the Discord forum and just ask there. Go to the items tab. Those are the things that you can make. And you either do control F and look for cheese, or you can just scroll up and look for cheese here. And there's cheese. I think here's the price, 15000 per one, I think, which would give you 150000 I'm guessing, for 10 here. I like the item cards. Gives you sometimes a little better detail. Yeah, so let's see there. One is 15. I just want to make sure I was reading this. I know that 10 times 15 is 150, believe it or not. But anyway, one cheese will give you 15,000, but we know that you have to sell them in batches of 10, which gives you 150,000. The reason he has 25 on here is he actually owns this thing called a dragon. Uh, it's kind of hard to get. It's probably going to cost you several thousand dollars, but it delivers all his uh, products in, by this dragon who just flies and takes the products and it doesn't need any gasoline. So anyway, that's, an, that's a highly advantageous uh, NFT, but a lot of us don't have one of those. And then a hundred is if you use the, the, the freight boat, it's a big uh, freight pier or something like that. It's for, for a big ship though, it'll carry a hundred items at a time. But to have a hundred items, you'd have to have a big inventory, right? So. Uh, this again tells you that it's made in the mixing tent. And as we already know, it takes two milk and one rice vinegar. It's stored in the storehouse. You know, sometimes you get confused whether things are stored in the storehouse or the warehouse. This will always tell you. And then what is cheese used for? That's below this blue line. Cheese is used to make pizza base, which is made in an Italian restaurant. And to make the pizza base, you need two dough, two cheese, and one tomato sauce or paste, or whatever they call it. And then there's the timers and, and so on for the Italian restaurant. So very useful spreadsheet. I highly recommend you check it out. And again, thank you for watching this video on how to make cheese and also how to deal with the bugs that we find in the current new version of Townstar. We'll see you later. Have a great day.